वेलकम बैक इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी सॉ ए केस स्टडी रिलेटेड टू कॉपी राइट वर्धेन्द्र ऑथर्ड अबाउट थ्री बुक्स एमंग थ्री एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम ही गॉट कॉपी राइट रजिस्टर्ड फॉर इज फर्स्ट बुक ही अलाउड हिज वर्क टू बी पब्लिश्ड ऑन अमेजॉन किंडल एंड स्टार्टेड रिसीविंग द रॉयल्टीज नाउ दैट वी हैव कवर्ड कॉपी राइट एंड केस स्टडी इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस लुक एट हाउ आर प्लांट वैरायटीज प्रोटेक्टेड Let us understand why must plant variety be protected. Imagine you are a farmer. After studying various varieties of plants, deploying various breeding procedures so as to produce a plant variety that gives better quality fruit, more resistant to plant diseases, after about 10 trials, you get the desirable quality fruits. You start growing more of this variety. as your fruits become popular the demand in the market increases now other farmers start using the seeds of the fruits and they start selling saplings of the new plant variety that you had developed how would you feel in order to protect the interests of farmers protection of plant variety and farmers rights act steps in if a farmer registers the new plant variety he gets the rights that protects his intellectual effort now let us look at what rights a farmer gets after registration others are excluded from selling exporting importing producing the seed or any other propagating materials without authorized permission of the farmer because this becomes the intellectual property of the farmer who has developed the plant variety hence this prevents others in having an economic benefit for a fixed amount of time which depends on the type of the plant now the next question would be what are the conditions for a plant variety to get qualified for a registration the requirements to be met are this it needs to be distinct uniform stable and if it is a new plant variety it needs to be novel now distinct means it is clearly distinguishable by at least one essential characteristic from any other known variety at the time of filing of the application uniform means there has to be no variations in the essential features in propagation it needs to be sufficiently uniform in its characteristic stable means if its essential characteristics remain unchanged after repeated propagation or in case of a particular cycle of propagation at the end of each such cycle now novelty means such a plant must not have been sold before filing an application for registration this requirement applies only to a new plant variety registration we'll also look at the type of plants which could be registered let us look at what type of plants can be registered the first is new plant variety now this is a variety that was never in trade anything not in public domain qualifies for this next comes extant variety these are general varieties in public domain now a question would be why is a variety of common knowledge or known variety still being protected the answer is at times the traditional knowledge is not in the documented form as long as variety is distinct from other varieties even if it is in public domain cultivated at certain parts this type of plant variety gets the protection it is also a gateway for getting registered in the database now third category is essentially derived variety from a protected variety
Now, as the name suggests, one of the parent plant has to be a protected plant variety. Anything derived out of this, having few of the characteristics distinct, qualifies for essentially derived variety. Now, let us recap what we saw today. First, Protection of Plant Variety and Farmers Act provides a system to protect the intellectual efforts of farmer, which leads to the encouragement to develop new varieties of plants. It also helps in conserving, improving and making available plant genetic resources for development of new plant varieties. Number three, the protection of intellectual efforts of farmers further helps gain momentum in agricultural development, which in turn boosts agriculture allied industries. And finally, this also helps in facilitating healthy quality of plant seeds and propagating elements for the farmers. Now, in the next video, let us look at case studies where farmers have developed new plant varieties like a mango variety for which you do not need to wait till the mango season and is available throughout the year and many more such varieties. Thank you.